So today I have a little design request directly from Mrs. K. Our little dog loves to run to the front door anytime he hears something and poke his nose through the blinds to check out what's outside. Unfortunately, over time he's been able to break the little tabs that hold the blinds in place. So Mrs. K requested I use my 3D printer and try to recreate the little tabs for the blinds. So that's what I will do today. I will design this in Fusion 360, generate the STL file, and print it on my Prusa 3D printer. Let's get started. So I have one of the broken pieces here, and I have one of the existing pieces here. I'm just gonna take some rough measurements. Okay, an inch and a half this way, 0.825 this way, half an inch this way. So in Fusion 360, first thing I want to do is go into document settings and set my units to inches. I'll create a new component, name it blind clip. It's activated and I'll start a new sketch. XY plane. So I'm going to create a rectangle with the center point. I make my center point on this axis here and 0 0.825 and 1.5 and that will be this plane right here. So about three quarter inch in it tapers off so I'm gonna go here so I'm gonna go create a sketch dimension so first I'm gonna create a point another point and I will use a sketch dimension from here to the point of 0.75 inches ends up being right halfway I'm gonna do the same for this point right here I'm gonna use a driven dimension from this one here so I'm gonna create another point here so now that I have these three points I'm going to try and mimic this spline. I don't have to do it perfectly. I'll just create a nice rounded curve around here. So I'll select the first point, the second point, and the third point. And there's my spline. And now I'm going to need to set a point for this pin right here that's going to snap into the blind. The pin itself is 0.12 inches diameter and it's at 1.39 inches away from the bottom so I'll subtract half of the diameter from, from that and that means it's going to be 1.33 inches. So again I'll create another point along this axis here and I will dimension it Point three three inches away. Next I'll create the circle for the for the pen, a center diameter circle based around this point and I need to be 0 0.12 inches. The sketch for the bottom part is done. I'm gonna stop the sketch and now I have a pattern that looks mostly like the bottom of my clip. So now I'll measure the width of the clip and it's 0.1 a tenth of an inch. I'll extrude these two surfaces 0.1 inches out high. There's the bottom of my clip. I'll continue to show the sketch so I can extrude the next piece, which is the pen. And the pen is a quarter inch high, but I want to change my operation here to join because otherwise I'll just create a hole through the piece I just extruded. Okay, I can hide this sketch and now I can create a new sketch on the front face of the blind clip. 
And really on this sketch, all I need to do is create a small rectangle that will extrude upwards. And that rectangle, starting from the corner, is a tenth of an inch high and a full length wide. I will stop the sketch and I will extrude this piece here, which is in total half an inch, like we measured before, so I need to extrude four tenths of an inch. So we basically have the clip done. All we need to do now is create the two holes for the screws to go into. And those holes are a quarter inch away from the bottom and they're about 0.15. So to create these holes, I'll create a new sketch on this face right here. First, I'll create a couple points. Measuring the holes, they're about 15 hundredths of an inch. So I'll create two circles, center diameter circles, 0.15 inch, and a second circle, also 0.15 inch. And since these holes are a quarter of an inch away from the bottom, that means this dimension here has to be 0.25 plus 0.075, so 0.325 inches away from the bottom. I will make this a driven dimension of D17. And now measuring from the side of the, the wall, Circle is also 0.15 inches plus half of the diameter of the circle, so 0.22. And I will dimension this to be the same. So now all of the components of my sketch have turned black, which means they're constrained, which is a good thing. And now I just need to press pull these two surfaces. And I am done. This is a finished clip. So now I will generate the SEL file so I can 3D print this design. Unfortunately, I've noticed that there is an issue with my slicer program if I use SAE units in the SDL file. So I'm going to go back into the options and select millimeters again. And now I will generate the SDL file. So make 3D print, select high refinement, Select the object that you want to create the STL file for. Hit OK. I'm going to save it as an STL file. And now I'll go over to my slicer program. Add. Select the file I just saved. And there it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and print four of these. And I will hit send to printer. Now my slicer program is con connected to OctoPrint. So my printer will receive it. We'll receive the file and I'm ready to start printing. Okay, so the printer is now warming up. I'm getting ready to print the blind clip. And that's the finished piece. Compared to the original, pretty much identical. Okay, so all in all, start to finish, about an hour, with the design and printing. Probably just as quick as going to the store to pick up a new set, but where's the fun in that? 
in the end it was an easy piece to design and print and I'm pretty happy with the outcome. I will post the source files and the SDL files to Thingiverse and I will have a link for that in the video description and if you like my videos please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you.